Welcome to World News This is Jessica Second Abandoned Migrant Ship Spotted Off Italian Coast The Italian Coast Guard says a merchant ship with at least 400 migrants on board is heading for the Italian coast. The Izadine, sailing under the flag of Sierra Leone, had no crew on board and was going towards Puglio in the southeast of Italy. The Icelandic Coast Guard confirmed to the BBC that one of its vessels was assisting in efforts to board the ship. Almost 1,000 migrants were rescued from another ship found abandoned without any crew earlier in the week. The Icelandic Coast Guard told the BBC that high seas and bad weather were making it difficult to board the 60-metre 204th Izadeen, which is 65 kilometres 40 miles off the southeastern tip of Italy but said it hoped that could be done in the coming hours. The Icelandic Coast Guard vessel Tyr is in patrolling off the Italian coast as part of the EU Frontex border control mission. The alarm was raised in a distress call from one of the migrants who managed to operate the maritime radio on board the Izadine, according to the Italian Coast Guard, we're without crew, we're heading toward the Italian coast and we have no one to steer safely docked the first ship, the Blue Sky M, carrying 970 people, was abandoned and left on autopilot by its crew, believed to be people traffickers. The Italian Coast Guards brought it under control and safely docked it at the Italian port of Gallipoli on Wednesday. The migrants, believed to be mainly Syrians and Kurds, have been taken to local schools and a gymnasium. Thirty-five of them were taken to hospital with some treated for hypothermia, the Italian Red Cross spokeswoman Mima Antonacci said. The Italian Red Cross had previously said that four people were found dead on the ship. It later withdrew its report, and officials now say no one is known to have died on the ship. The passengers of the Blue Sky M cargo ship have a strange, terrifying story to tell. Hundreds of migrants pay thousands of dollars each to smugglers to get them to Europe. Mohammed from Iraq was one of the passengers. One week we sleep in the ship, he said in broken English. We don't have clean water, don't have food, don't have doctors, women, children all sick. It would appear that the smugglers left the ship's controls on autopilot and then abandoned ship, leaving the Blue Sky M to head towards the Italian coast. The migrants inside the boat did not know what was going on. Inside the room, continued Mohammed, we don't have any information about life or death. The Coast Guard boarded the ship, disengaged the autopilot and steered it to port. In Gallipoli, the refugees are now being cared for in local schools. It's an emergency, a real emergency, says rescue volunteer Frederica Palumbo. Migrant Surge Italy has had to deal with a massive surge in migrants many of them from the Middle East and the Horn of Africa, setting off on boats with hopes of reaching Europe. The most common sea route for the clandestine voyages has been from Libya but this ship is said to have started in Turkey. It is also unusual to find a vessel of this size carrying migrants. People traffickers to organize the crossings often abandon the vessels at sea to avoid rest. The Blue Sky is listed as a general cargo ship sailing under a Moldovan flag. The safety manager of a company hired to provide safety certification for the ship told the BBC he had withdrawn its certificate several months ago after finding it unsafe. The Italian Coast Guard spokesman Filippo Moreni was quoted by AP news agency as saying the Italians had averted a disaster by interrupting the program route that would have had the ship crash into the shore. It was a real race against the clock, he said. Adding, unlocking the engines was a difficult and delicate operation, but they managed to do it. Greek officials were first alerted to the ship when it was near Corfu. A man aboard is reported to have asked for food, water and blankets. The distress call to Greek emergency services prompted the Navy to send a helicopter and a warship. The Greek authorities had said no one aboard the vessel was in danger. The Blue Sky M was reportedly heading for the port of Rijeka in Croatia from Turkey. According to tracking website Marina Traffic, the ship abruptly changed direction south of Othenoi on Tuesday morning, heading west towards Italy. 
Weather conditions in the Ionian Sea have been poor for several days, hampering the rescue of those on board the Norman Atlantic ferry which caught fire in the area, killing at least 10 people.